Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here My name is Kira and I figured I would kind of take you guys along of what I eat in a week I post a weekly meal plan if you follow me on my Instagram every single Sunday on my Instagram stories And basically it's a what I eat day by day meal by meal It's not super strict But I figured I would take that weekly meal plan show you the recipes I'm cooking show you how I'm cooking how I prep how I plan and at the end of the day what I'm eating if you're interested make sure to comment down below what's your go-to meal or like what's your favorite meal you like to make and with that being said let's just get right on into what I ate this week I always like to make sure to wash all the dishes in the sink before I actually start cooking or prepping any meals that way I have access to all the dishes that I need but for breakfast I've been obsessed with chia seed pudding I use two tablespoons of chia seeds a quarter cup of oats and then three quarters cup of whatever milk you like I like to use almond milk and then I just top it off with a whole bunch of berries granola and flax seeds and it's literally the best breakfast ever also on Monday I had pre-made some green juices so I had that just kind of to fill me up get some extra greens in my diet and you know just enjoy a nice little drink I decided to make my life a little bit easier and I prepped some food beforehand so today I prepped some roasted chickpeas and these are literally the easiest thing you can ever make you roast them at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes and you can put whatever type of seasoning you like I like to use paprika chili powder onion garlic powder salt and pepper and they're the perfect snack but also the perfect topping for salads and Buddha bowls and falafel bowls and that is what I had for lunch I had a bit of arugula I put some feta peppers cucumbers hummus tzatziki sauce and falafels with the roasted chickpeas and it is literally my favorite lunch ever and it keeps me so full Okay, so a lot of my lunches this week are Greek inspired, Mediterranean inspired. I'm having a lot of falafel bowls. I'm having Buddha bowls, which just kind of has like a lot of cucumbers, feta, all of that stuff. But I figured instead of going out and buying tzatziki, I would make my own tzatziki sauce. So I'm going to show you guys kind of how I go about making my own tzatziki. Like I said, I really just like to make my life a whole bunch easier by making these things ahead of time. That way I can just grab them and go whenever I'm prepping my lunches. So for the tzatziki, all you need is Greek yogurt, minced garlic, and then you're going to peel a cucumber and then you're gonna shred it and once you're done shredding it you're gonna squeeze out all the excess water from it that way your tzatziki sauce doesn't get too liquidy then you're gonna add some dill some lemon juice I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper and as for my snacks this day I had some cucumbers with tahini and lime juice and it's so delicious okay Jack just got back from like our community store and picked me up some Doritos so I couldn't resist today for dinner we switched it up a little bit I had to do a TikTok for a brand in which you'll see later on I like take videos of the wine Wine, but I decided to have like a little wine and pizza night and we made homemade pizzas with non bread And when I tell you that this is literally the easiest recipe you could ever make you just go buy store-bought pitas You can make your own sauce. You can buy your own marinara sauce I like to put a little bit of garlic on ours We use mozzarella cheese and then we had some pepperoni and honestly this dinner was such a nice dinner It was so nice accompanied by the wine and you guys already know I preach balance I preach eating whatever you want to eat in moderation and this is one of my like guilty pleasures I just like to make these little pizzas I like to eat things that I enjoy eating I added some spinach on there to like give it a little health factor but honestly I didn't even need to do that as for Tuesday, I started my day off with a morning workout. Honestly, I've just been so stressed with work. I've had a lot on my plate and I really needed a workout just to calm my brain down, get all my energy out and get my stress levels back down to how they were beforehand. But you guys already know, I'm obsessed with this chia seed pudding. So of course I had to make it again. I usually make chia seed pudding in batches of two, but here you'll see I add raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, granola. I also add some pecans or whatever nuts I have, flax seeds, and of course a little bit of honey to make it a little little bit sweeter and then I just got started with work right away I didn't even have time in the morning to enjoy my breakfast before I had to start work and then for lunch today again this was a very busy day and I like to make quick easy lunches so I did a Buddha bowl which again had another bed of arugula and mixed greens I used the peppers and cucumbers from the day before I used the roasted chickpeas it's pretty much the same recipe as yesterday with feta and hummus and I added the tzatziki today but instead of the falafels I actually added pearl couscous just to give it some more carbs to fill me up a little bit more because the chickpeas do have a lot of protein in them 
As for the pearl couscous, I pretty much use that olive oil, salt, and pepper, and that's pretty much it. I mix it all up, and I usually let it cool before I add it to the Buddha bowl, because if not, it can get a little bit wilty, but today I kind of ate it on the side. Okay, so I like to make this Buddha bowl whenever I have a really busy day, like today. I've just been doing so many things. I've had a lot of meetings. I've had a lot of last minute assignments, and it's so easy to make. The roasted chickpeas we made yesterday, I made the tzatziki yesterday just so I could have it today. The only thing I really had to make was the pearl couscous and that took like five minutes this will be enough for two days so half of it is going to go on here but it's too hot to go on here so i'll probably just eat half of it by itself this has been my go-to lunch probably for the last like three months it's so easy so good so filling so nutritious and i am just obsessed with it Okay, so I just got back from Starbucks. I had to quickly run to the post office to drop off some returns and on my way home I decided to make a quick pit stop to Starbucks and I ordered a pink drink, but they didn't give me a pink drink Apparently they ran out and this is like the dragon fruit dragon something drink I don't really know. It was just kind of overwhelming and I said sure I'll take it, but it's actually pretty good I like these because they're super refreshing. I don't always like to have caffeine because caffeine I feel like we don't have the best relationship and I keep going back to it and it keeps knocking me down. I get more of the negative side effects from caffeine than the positive ones. I don't get a boost of energy or any of that. I get like headaches, I get nauseous, you know, the whole nine yards. But yes, this is something I'm having this week. I don't always have Starbucks. It's actually pretty rare that I go to Starbucks because I'm trying to cut back on spending. I'm trying not to spend as much money on stuff that I don't really need and I don't really need this, but I, if it makes you happy, it makes you happy and do it. But it's definitely not a normal occasion that to go out and drink starbucks or buy starbucks or whatever and if you guys listen to my podcast or if you follow me on instagram you guys know i like to try one new recipe a week that way we kind of get out of our comfort zone we get out of the cycle of eating the same a few meals week over week so today we ended up trying this kind of variation of orange chicken and honestly it wasn't my favorite but obviously I still made it and we still ate it but we had rice we had some broccoli pretty much what I'm saying it wasn't my favorite but we still made it we still tried it and now we know that at least this recipe wasn't our favorite and we likely won't make it again but that won't deter us from trying more recipes just because not every recipe is going to hit and not every recipe is going to be your favorite but you obviously won't know that until you try it okay so this is a new recipe it is like a sesame orange chicken with basmati rice and broccoli. This is the first time we've made it. It looks really good. It smells really good. And it only took 20 minutes. Today for breakfast, I was in a little bit of a rush. I had woken up a little too late. I actually ended up snoozing my alarm one too many times. So I had just a slice of toast with almond butter and some chia seeds, and I added some banana to it just to add more. I also added flax seeds because flax seeds have so many health benefits to them. Whenever I do have a smaller breakfast like this, I always make sure to supplement it with more food later in the day. I usually have a snack in between breakfast and lunch if I do have a smaller breakfast than this because I know my myself and I can get pretty hungry. I also made some green juice just to kind of help me hold over a little bit longer until my meetings ended in the morning. Okay, so I have a really busy day at work today. So I just went ahead and made the same bowl as yesterday. As I said yesterday, it's just a bed of arugula. It has roasted chickpeas, little pearl couscous, cucumbers and peppers are underneath, feta, hummus, and homemade tzatziki sauce. This took me three minutes to assemble and it's gonna get me through the afternoon because I have meetings all day long. Literally so good, so easy, and it just keeps me so full for pretty much most of the afternoon. I might have a snack later. I had some like little crackers earlier, like these little dunkers from Trader Joe's. I had some last night too. So I've been able to hold off between breakfast and today. Breakfast was a little smaller than I intended it to be today just because my avocados weren't ripe, so I couldn't make avocado toast, but this and then maybe a coffee and a snack later today is gonna keep me nice and full until dinner time so enjoy okay so the three o'clock slump is hitting which means i need to make some coffee i need a little pick me up i've told you guys that coffee doesn't bring me energy but i think it's like the placebo effect i feel like even though i know it doesn't actually give me energy i drink it and i feel better like i feel happier like i know it's not from the effects of the coffee but i think it's just having a drink in my hand kind of instantly changes my mood it doesn't even have to be coffee yesterday i got that starbucks refresher and that was enough to you know pick me up i can have a green juice and still feel the same effect so i know it's not 
the caffeine in the coffee, but it's just about having a drink. But I decided today, let's just make some coffee at home because it's quick, simple. We have a somewhat busy afternoon. There's like a dog barking in this building. Anyways, we're gonna make some coffee and then get back to work. We have about two more hours of working today and then we're free, free at last. <laughs> have like the latte Starbucks one. It's already, I think it already has cream in it and then I just use almond milk creamer. So it's just very creamy, very good. I like it cold. I realized if I drink hot coffee, it can only be in the morning and then I have to have like iced coffee in the afternoons. But this is something I just kind of like to do. I like to make myself a coffee and just kind of sit down, relax. Sometimes I'll read a book. Sometimes I'll go out onto the balcony and just like get the fresh air, the sunlight, you know, vitamin D and all of that stuff. But today I just kind of want to sit down, relax, I've been focused on the computer for so long today. I've just been in meetings after meetings after meetings that I really just need time to myself. For dinner today, we just kept it pretty simple and made some tacos with ground beef. Honestly, my boyfriend asked for tacos on Tuesday every single day or every single week. And honestly, it's not Tuesday. It was Wednesday. Tacos are still good no matter what the day. These tacos are honestly so simple. We keep it simple because on some nights, both of us have a lot to do, whether it's editing YouTube videos or podcasts or whatever else it may be. So this dinner literally takes about 10 minutes. All you have to do is cook the meat, heat up the tortillas, and then everything else is kind of already prepped and ready for you in terms of like the cheddar cheese, the lettuce, a sour cream, except we use Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. And it's that easy. We actually just made microwavable rice and it took two minutes in the microwave. Such a simple and easy meal, but honestly, it's such a go-to when you do want to make a meal in less than 10, 15 minutes. As for Thursday for breakfast, I ended up making a little smoothie with some berries. I just love berry smoothies. I'm not like a tropical smoothie type of person I don't really like putting mangoes and pineapples in my smoothie But I do want to get into it and whenever I make smoothies I make sure to add some protein powder some collagen powder today I added greens because I didn't have any spinach on hand and I don't really like using milk I like using kefir because it has a lot of probiotics or prebiotics I kind of always forget which one it has but this smoothie has so much jam-packed into it that it keeps me full for a little bit but as I mentioned earlier I can't just drink a smoothie I have to have something with it also. So I usually have something later in the day. I have a really busy morning at work today. So I just quickly made a smoothie. I have a second cup in the fridge for once I'm done with this one. I have my second serving, but I always make sure if I do make a smoothie, I try to make them super nutritionally dense. I have protein powder. I have my collagen powder. I have this greens powder that I just got and it's basically an entire serving of green vegetables in like two scoops. I usually add spinach, but we're out of spinach. That's why I supplemented with the greens powder today. I had some kefir, which is super good, like probiotics. I have different types of berries and chia seeds and flax seeds. So it's all very good for you, but I'll probably get hungry later on in the morning just because I like smoothies, but I feel like they can't hold me over that long. I get pretty hungry within the first like two hours of drinking a smoothie. So this is going to be it for now. I'm going to go into two meetings I have this morning. Then I'll probably make like a snack or something that will hopefully hold me over until lunchtime. These are my current obsession. I am literally so obsessed with them. They're these oatmeal cranberry dunker cookies with white fudge drizzle. But if you put them in the microwave for like three seconds, the white fudge melts and it is so good you can dip them in your coffee but these are kind of what i've been snacking on i kind of have one or two a day i've had to ask jack to hide these for me because i will literally eat five plus a day if i have full access to them so they're so good they're my obsession get them at trader joe's but now we're getting started with making our lunch today it's gonna be a sun-dried tomato pasta but it's like a vegan sun-dried tomato pasta instead of cream or milk or anything like that we're gonna be using cashews and i've been soaking these cashews in water for about the past like two hours or so so we're gonna see how it goes i sometimes incorporate vegan dishes into my diet i'm not vegan i'm not vegetarian i just typically don't really eat that much meat or dairy to begin with this is my first time trying this recipe i like to try typically one new recipe a week just to kind of get us out of the habit of eating the same things every week because if you guys haven't noticed already i kind of eat very similar meals chia seed pudding the buddha bowls for dinner we kind of add a little bit more variety but i want to try to switch it up and add more variety during my lunches too for lunch i had a little bit more time on my hands so i decided to make this vegan sun-dried tomato pasta and honestly it was so good the sauce 
for the pasta is made with cashews and it was literally the easiest thing ever all you had to do was soak the cashews and pretty much follow the rest of the recipe that i will make sure to link in the description of this video but for being a vegan pasta not having any milk or anything like that or dairy it was honestly so creamy and so delicious definitely making it again okay so i'm taking a quick break from work it is around 3 30 i just got out of a meeting i just made myself some tea it was a lemon ginger tea so good it's so good with a little bit of honey in it too but i just felt like i should give you guys like a quick update on my lunch it was good it was actually really good but i don't know if i did something wrong or if i was impatient and cooked things too fast but the sauce was a little grainy so i don't know if i need to soak the cashews longer or if i need to cook the sauce a little bit longer or like dilute it with more pasta water but the flavor was really good it was super creamy it felt like i was eating almost like mac and cheese i feel like that was more so the taste than like a regular cream sauce i think next time i want to add maybe like spinach or some sort of broccoli or something like that just to add more greens to it but besides that it was super filling and for dinner we had some shake shack because we were honestly too lazy to cook and wanted to just watch netflix all night long and that was pretty much it but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know if you like this video and i'll see you guys in next week's video Video. Bye!